All right. So I'm just getting her warmed up. One thing I've discovered about Bonnie here, she's a two-year-old, and her attention span isn't very long. You know, think of like a little kindergartner. Physically, she's strong as an ox. This is a big, stout girl, and she's probably going to mature out at 1,300 pounds when she's done. She's a, she's a big girl and real strong, but mentally, she's still pretty young. So what I usually do with her is I'll work her about 30 minutes, give her an hour break while I work the other horse, then come back and work her another 30, 40 minutes. That's what I've been doing lately. Sorry, I'm trying to pull this tarp out. Uh, and that's what I plan to do today. This is the second time she's seen the tarp. First time I believe I had on video. First time she saw it. And so I'm gonna hopefully do a little bit more today. And we had a storm come through last night and it, it was pretty windy and that made them, both horses a little bit more excitable this morning. Okay, good, all right. Okay, so I'm gonna let her follow this around a minute. Which she's not too happy about doing, is she? So, yeah, she's gonna be just a little bit more suspicious of things moving today than maybe she was yesterday. Okay, that's not bad. Good. Good girl. Good girl, okay. And she's gotten good with the flag. I don't have, really don't see any reason to do much more with the flag because she responds to it really well. Uh, now you see she's a little bit bo more bothered on the right than on the left, which is her general way of being. Interesting thing about these two fillies, when I, when I brought them in, I kind of assumed that they would be pretty different. Uh, you never know in the beginning, but they really haven't been that different. They've had just quite a few similarities and they've progressed at just about the same rate. Uh, so I just kind of find that interesting. I didn't really expect that, but it kind of makes my job a little easier because I pretty much do the same thing with both of them every single day. Okay. Good. I'm going to crank this up a little bit. Shake that a little more. Okay. Good. Now I'm going to ask her to follow it on the ground. And this morning, I was carrying out the trash from the barn. I, you know, just a big plastic bag full of trash and walked by her stall and she, <laughs> she snorted and jumped and took off, caught her by surprise. So, and you know, that's, that's not unusual, but I want to help her get over that kind of stuff. Okay. Now, I don't know if I've asked her to step on this, let's see if she will. Oh, look at you, baby. Can you do it? I think you can do it, come on. You can do it. There you go. Oh yeah, there's a toe. There's a front foot. Good job. There you go. There you go. Okay, and I've got her head tied where she can't go all the way to the ground. I didn't, didn't think that through in the beginning very well. That's pretty good. I'm real happy with that. So I'll, first of all, I need to get her feet moving here because she's kind of locked up in freeze mode. Come on, move your feet. There we go. And this mare is so strong, and I do mean strong. So she, if she wants to take off and drag me around, she sure can do it. Nope, wrong answer. Wrong answer. 
Work on being brave here. <laughs> Did you see that little kick? I, I don't know if she was kicking at the dog or the tarp. I think it was the dog. But I've said this before, my dog Gus there, he won't hurt anybody. He's annoying. He annoys me a lot too. But when my horses leave here, when the client horses leave, they're not afraid of dogs. Uh, he just annoys them to the point they eventually learn to get used to dogs. And looky there, good girl. Good girl, she did it. You did it, good baby. Good baby, okay, come here. Good girl. So think of this like, a, oh, you're riding along and there's a water puddle. Some of y'all have horses that won't go through a water puddle. It's a pretty common deal. Uh, anything that you can encounter when you're out on a trail ride, your horse is probably gonna react the same way she's reacting, if, if your horse isn't used to it, that is. So now that I've got her going over it, I'm gonna do this until she kind of starts looking bored. So this may take five or 10 minutes. Again, how long is it gonna take? I don't know. It takes as long as it takes. But I'm gonna keep doing it until she just kind of trots over it and acts like it's not there. If you do it to that level, then she's building confidence every time she trots over it. She's feeling just a little bit better about herself. <laughs> okay? Reminds me of the old farmer that entered his mule into the Kentucky Derby. And all of his friends said, why'd you do that for? You know that mule can't, can't outrun those fancy racehorses. And the farmer says, yeah, I know, but just hanging around with all those thoroughbreds makes him feel better about himself. So, Okay, different side, different brain. She did it, but with a lot more anxiety. Come on, babe. No, she says, I'm not so good on this side. Come on. There. And I'm releasing her to go over it. I'm not trying to pull her over it. That, that'll work against you. Put a, just a small amount of pressure on her, which So you notice she went over it two or three times from this side and then she said, I can't do it again. Horse training is not all forward. Sometimes you go two steps forward and one step back. In fact, that's pretty common. Ah, uh, that's the first time she just walked over it, isn't it? Good job, baby. Yeah, did you hear her blow out? She let out some tension there. Good. So I don't know why she stopped, but I don't see any reason to do anything but let her stand there and relax a minute. Licked and chewed, shook her head. That head shake is a release of tension. She's licking and chewing. She's looking at me. Okay, she's starting to look bored, isn't she? Getting there. Okay, can you go on over please? There, yeah, good. So when you hear me talking to the horse, I'm just telling you in English what I'm telling her with my body. If you weren't out here, <laughs> you know, if I didn't have an audience, I wouldn't talk to her at all, other than the, I would cluck to her and say the stop word. That'd be the only, only noise she'd hear out of me. Okay, horses are not verbal, they're body language creatures. Okay, so now that she's doing fairly well with this, I'm just gonna go back and forth a few times here. <laughs> 